So here's the content we have today, kind of a quick agenda. So uh, we've got some ABM improvements in 2024, uh, focused a lot on custom property improvements, making sure those are a lot more reliable and, and working as we would expect. Uh, we have a couple new tools for uh, kind of optimizing your steel delivery and, and planning out uh, how things are going to be erected and delivered to the job sites. And then I'll kick it over to, to Caitlin. She can talk about the connection design and engineering improvements that we have. Uh, and then we'll give a little bit of a demo of all of this towards the end. So uh, kick it off with ABM improvements. So, you know, ABM was uh, kind of overhauled uh, uh, several versions back in SDS2. I had a lot of feedback from people that when we did overhaul that, that there was a lot of great things happen there. Uh, there was a lot of things that maybe were missed or forgotten that we previously had, and, and we needed that back. So what we did here is, number one, we made sure that we had the qualifiers for every member and every material type. <clears throat> so. Uh, you do see that qualifier screen on the right side here, and uh, some of you may look at that and say, well, I would never add, you know, uh, some of those member types to the ABM, and you're absolutely right. That's great. We took a little bit of approach of just, hey, I'm not going to try to dictate what the users want. Uh, we're just going to give you every option, and it's going to be up to you to pick the correct thing that you want. So uh, we don't want to limit you in what you can do here. Uh, the other thing that we had to do for this then was we had to ensure that the ABM information is available in every member edit window uh, that we distribute with SDS2. So uh, did a bit of work to do that. We then restored some of the previously available ABM sorting and page break options. So things like camber to separate out on different lines, or in the past we were able to, to do uh, breaks by your uh, routing options. So we've restored those and giving you that ability back. Throughout all of this, we discovered that for those of you who might be developing on the SDS2 API and doing your own, uh, you know, custom materials and such. We we didn't necessarily have that ability, so now we have a method in the API to set ABM length for custom materials being developed. 